Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at another round of completely free A12 Chimera Jailbreak Zillio Tweaks. So sit back and relax. We have an awesome video displaying some of the latest tweaks that have either been updated or released. But before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. Also, if you want to stay updated on when a new jailbreak utility is coming out for future iOS versions, definitely bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.4 jailbreak status checker pages on our Best Tech Info website. And speaking of Best Tech Info, that is where you'll find the entire tweak and source list from today's video if you guys want to install what we're demonstrating. All right, well, without further ado, let's get into the tweaks. So starting off, I thought this was pretty sweet. I took all of the live wallpapers from the OnePlus 7 or whatever that phone is called. Anyway, their wallpapers look pretty sweet. Everyone's been raving about them on the internet. So I combined them into a never ending loop and I took that and put it in the background on my phone. And I did this with a tweak called Zenimated. It's like Zen with animated at the end. Anyway, haven't talked about this tweak in a while, but it works perfectly fine with Zen HTML on A12 devices like my iPhone XS Max right here. Anyway, we'll go over exactly how you guys get these wallpapers later in this video. Again, in our Best Tech Info article, I will have a direct download link to my custom loop that I have playing here in the background. Well, let's get into some easier to install tweaks to start things off. So first up, we have Sil Actions, and it's like Cilio Actions. It's kind of like a swipe for more for Cilio. Basically, if I want to install a tweak, I can just tap and hold and let go, and it gives me options right here to quickly get it and install it and add it to my queue. If I hit cancel, it added to my queue right there, so I never actually had to go into the package. Now, whether that's a time saver or not, I'll let you guys be the judge, but what is awesome is when you actually go to install said package and it goes through and completes the installation process here. Instead of forcing you to respring, you can actually hit done and restart Celio. So if I click that, it actually restarts the application in the background, but then basically gets it ready and takes me back to the exact same place I was to install more tweaks. And you have the option to do a normal respring, but I really like this so you can install multiple tweaks without having to respring or without having to manually go into the app switcher and exit out of it. Also, this one isn't free, but awesome update to Gusto right here to combine the control center and uh, the multitasking pane. Anyway, not talking about paid tweaks in this video anymore. Let's get on to the next free one. So going to the lock screen right here, hopefully it won't recognize my face. But anyway, as you guys can see, I have jellyfish right here. Well, I also have this free tweak called Jellyfish Custom, which lets me set a custom size for that widget right there. So if I tap it one more time, and again, this is Asteroid going on right here to give me the weather, that one's completely free. And I also have my animated wallpapers going on in the background. But regardless, Jellyfish Custom looks pretty sweet to minimize and shrink that little widget right there on the lock screen. Also, Artsy is pretty sweet. I'm not going to talk about this one too much as we've covered it in the past, but it looks sweet in Apple Music, in your control center, and what brings me to the tweaks I'm talking about in this video, it also looks great on the lock screen. Now, the one I wanted to mention in this video is called Sylph, which basically shrinks your lock screen music control and makes it super minimalistic. And then right below, this one isn't technically free, but it comes with a free trial period, and it's called Next Up 2. And that just recently received support for A12 devices. So you guys can easily switch songs basically of which one you wanna to listen to up next. And there we have it. And as you guys can see, the whole wallpaper and everything changes. And I have Mashuda Infinity. There's a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot of tweak videos. If you guys wanna learn more about some of these, definitely check out some of our previous ones. So heading back to the home screen, this one is pretty incredible. This one is called Springfinity and it's basically like Infiniboard, but for A12 and the Chimera Jailbreak. So now we can have vertical scrolling and an unlimited amount of applications on one single page. And we can easily, like if we leave it up like that, swipe over and come back, it takes us back to the normal layout. But 
but we can have applications below our dock as well. I have all my useless folders right there hidden, but all my applications are literally on two pages then. I have all my jailbreak stuff right here, and I have literally every other application on my device on one single page using Springfinity, using Zenth to hide other applications behind others just like that. Anyway, I think it's a super awesome setup. So battery percent A12 has also been updated, which is a free version of putting your battery percentage up in the top right corner instead of just the battery icon. So I'm really happy this tweak was just recently updated. It's called low power DND. So now when you toggle on do not disturb, it also enables low power mode. So if you guys are looking for a GPS spoofer or location faker, Relocate is brand new and it's entirely free and it lets you set your location or fake your location on a map just like this. But what's really cool is you can actually do it just for certain applications. Next up, we have Selection Plus, which basically redesigns our selection menu. So if I tap and hold, now we have all of these options in a nice UI. We can select, select all, paste, change the style or indent, and we even can access copy log and things like that. But I love this interface if we just tap and hold it looks a lot nicer than the stock selection interface. And again, that one's called Selection Plus. Hide Your Apps basically lets you hide an application on the springboard, but you can still access it within Spotlight. So if I go to my home screen, say I have my phone icon right there, and just as a very apparent example, I'll go ahead and hide that, hit back, do a quick respring, and there we have it. The phone icon is hidden, but if we go into Spotlight Search, we will still be able to search for it. And speaking of cleaning up the springboard, Clean Home Screen has also been updated for A12 support, which basically lets you hide icon labels and a bunch of other things right here, all within one tweak. This one's one of my favorites, Silent Screenshot. Again, if you go to take a screenshot, there is no noise and there's a very minimalistic appearance of that white kind of fade in, fade out when you go to take a screenshot. I really like that and that one's called Silent Screenshot. Next up we have Meliore, which is a free volume HUD alternative right here. And I have mine currently in the notch at the very top. Also, I thought this one was super awesome earlier this week. Airport now fixes the AirPods Generation 2 animations right here when you flick up your AirPods so you guys can view the battery percentages. Anyway, that's the very last free tweak I wanted to discuss in this video. Now very quickly, let me show you how to install this animation on your guys' devices. So you guys are going to go to this link. Again, it's located on our Best Tech Info article down below in the comments. This is to my custom loop that combines all four of the live wallpapers. So we can go ahead and click continue to website and we can go ahead and select this guy right here. And you're going to click on this hamburger menu icon right there and click direct download. And now it's going to come up with a download dialog box right here. And now we can go ahead and click more. We can go ahead and select copy to files -a. And there we have it, it's in our documents folder. Now we're gonna go ahead and unzip it. So there's our extracted folder. We can go ahead and select that. There is the actual video file. So we can go ahead and click edit, select that one and click copy in the bottom left. Now we can go ahead and open up another little window right here, just a blank one basically, and go back to the root of the file system. And now we're actually going to go to VAR, go to VAR, mobile, library, and then scroll all the way down here to the very bottom to Zenimated. And this is where all of our live wallpapers are kept for this tweak. We can go ahead and click right here and click paste. Now we have the 7LW file right there, which again, if we preview it, is the little loop that I created. So with all that in place, now we can go to the settings app. We can go to tweaks or scroll down basically to Zen HTML. If you guys want it on your lock screen, go to lock screen, or if you want to do it on the home screen, go to home screen, or if you want it on both, just do this process twice. Anyway, let's go ahead and apply it to our home screen, select background widgets, click add widget, and then click on Zenimated right here. And this is what the tweak looks like right off the bat, but we're gonna click the settings icon in the middle and change this name right here to the file name that I gave you, which is seven. 
L, capital L, and capital W, dot lowercase m, lowercase p, 4. And then select done. And just give it a second here to load. And there we have it. We can go ahead and click the check icon. And now when we go back to the home screen, we have this custom loop now playing in the background as our wallpaper. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know with a huge thumbs up. Again, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. If you're looking for a tweak that you missed in this video, check out our Best Tech Info article for the entire list with repositories. While you're there, bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.4 jailbreak status checker pages. Stay tuned for more awesome videos coming this week, but until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.